In this video, you'll be learning how to reserve any business name on CSC website. Kindly note that this video is a continuation of previous videos we've released on our playlist on how to register your business name on the CSC website. So you visit pre.cac.gov.ng and log in to your account you've just created on the CSC website. All right. So once we do this, it's going to open your dashboard. Then you have to edit your profile. There are some things that is not yet done completely. So you come here. Firstly, you verify all your information, your date of birth, your phone number, and other things, just to ensure that it matches. Next, you scroll down and you upload your signature. We made a video to teach you how to extract your signature after signing it on a piece of paper. So kindly visit the description section to assess this video. So once you've done this, the next one, you have to upload your passport photograph. So you click on upload, then you select your passport photograph and you upload there. Okay, so we have done completing our profile. So you click on save and continue. So you have to wait for a few minutes, about 15 minutes for the changes to propagate fully on the system. All right, so you have to wait for some time before we begin the name reservation. So kindly visit the description section so that you would get more resources on this video. Also, do us a favor to like this video, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell for more amazing updates like this from us. Thank you. So the next thing, we are going to begin the new name reservation. So you could see it there. So you're going to click on new name reservation. All right. So do well to read up all this information so that you master the kind of names and the policies of the CAC. So you'll be expected to choose your classification. So what we want to do is business name. So we click on business name. Then we select a type. So we're going for sole proprietor. Okay, then you have to input your proposed name. You have to submit two names so that in case CAC rejects one, they might accept the second one. So click on save and continue. Then this takes us to the next one, reason for availability search. So we want to reserve this name because it's a new incorporation and registration. So you click on a new incorporation and registration. then you have to select the nature of business so here take your time you might need to spend if it's your first time you need to spend time here to master what category your business falls into so you could always take your time and go through everything so for this one we're going with education so that we could register a business that teaches digital marketing blockchain technology and other digital skills okay so you could see how you will take your time then you read up to make sure that you find the one that is closely related to your kind of business or an exact match to what you want to do. So for this, the closely related one or the one which is closest is ICT training and consultancy. So we're going to go with that for this video. So just for us to be sure that this is the best, let me go scroll upwards and see what we have there okay from what we could see the ict training and consultancy is actually the closest match so the additional remark is more like a summary of what you do so we've imputed that for us so you could see that so after this you scroll down and click on save and continue so this is going to take you to the next page where we are going to review all the information we've submitted so that we're going to be sure that it aligns to what we had in mind. Okay, so this is a review of what we have in mind. Okay, so this is what the client wants. So we're using that. After we've confirmed that this is what the client would want, so we'll quickly scroll down and click on the save and continue button. So it's time for payment. So I'm going to walk you through the different options you could pay using Remita. Okay, so CSE uses Remita, so you click on the Remita button. Okay, then this is gonna take us to the invoice to confirm 
and what we're doing. So you're going to find this information. Then you scroll down after confirming that, um, confirming the amount you'll be paying. Then you scroll down and click on Submit to make sure that your informations are um, actually visible there. So these are the several types of payment options you have. So you could select any of them. For this video, we're going to use our ATM card. So we've imputed our card details. All right, and now this is taking us to, okay, this is an OTP page. You're going to get a code, an OTP code sent to the registered phone number or email address that is linked to your ATM card or to your bank. So you're going to input that code there and click on Submit. Yeah, okay, so do well, like I said earlier, visit the description section. It's very important because we always... Um, share um, other information and resources to help you master um, how to register your business on the CAC website. Okay, so the transaction is being processed and here is a successful um, page. Okay, so it's going to fall back to the website and then you can download your receipt. So you can see that the reservation has been submitted successfully. Okay, so you quickly, uh, you could download your receipt. It's optional though, for reference sake. So don't forget guys, do well to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna be sharing uh, more updates on CAC registration in our next video. Okay, so you could scroll um, your cursor and click on your dashboard so you could see that your name reservation is currently on pending. So you're going to give CSE some time and they'll give you feedback if it was approved or reserved or if it was denied. So don't worry. If you subscribe to this channel, we're going to walk you through all the possible cases to ensure that you're successful in registering your business. All right, guys. Bye for now.